going to give you a little video preview of the latest game from Nintendo for the DSi in Japan because it's a game that really needs to be seen to be properly understood. It's a demonstration of new technology in the form of video head tracking on the DSi and therefore isn't really something that is conveyed as well via text. Because it uses the camera, you do have to do this uh, calibration thing every time you play. And it's important to note that the lighting conditions are rather important. If it's low light, then, as you can see here, it's, it's highlighting. This is the facial recognition part. So the orange is my face. And there's examples on the side of what is uh, good and what is bad. Now this is the very first level, and as you can see I've already found all three letters. Uh, some of the, the letters appear in the same font, so there is a bit of tilting. So you can see like the S is here, at least I hope you can see. And you move the target around your reticle with the D-pad, and then you click on the bang in the corner here to tell it, oh yes, I found it, and then it will highlight the letter for you. There's also shapes in the other panel. And I've only found three out of four of those. Uh, these things can be rather tricky and you see over here when it first starts out you just have a static image, there's nothing happening and you just find the three letters as your initial tutorial. But then you're looking for these shapes and you'll notice in the left panel, you can move the reticle over here a bit, that there is in fact some action happening. And there's a man over here who is doing some painting and a boy comes along and knocks for the paint, and it makes this shape. And this shape, if you eagle eye, you'll note, is this one. So there's a little animation sequence, and he goes and cleans up the paint, and then it spills again. It's really cool. Uh, the whole thing looks like a paper diorama, as you can see, little paper shutters from the windows. I mean, it's, it's great. The problem is this head tracking thing. Unless you've got the right lighting conditions, unless you're in a comfortable position, you can sit up for a while. Uh, like I'm holding my arm up here. I'd really want to have my my um, elbows resting on a table, but because I'm doing this, this is the way I'm able to do this video, this is what I'm doing. So this is the, the second stage. Now you'll notice that like the other one, this one starts right out of the animation. Now I'm going to give you a little thing here. These guys are holding shapes. So there is a timed element here. Uh, not timed as in you have a, a limited duration, but timed as in you sometimes have to wait for events to happen. That semicircle on the bottom is the bottom of the O. So you have to wait for these people carrying the pennants to move into the right order, and you'll see that there is a nice O shape. And then you spring into action with your reticle and say, aha, that is the O. Hopefully this will be coming overseas soon and in the meantime if you know just uh, imagine what could be the possibilities of the next generation of uh, handheld from Nintendo this kind of game could become more common who knows <laughs>